Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Minecraft with Gaming with Gixu. And as you can see, we are back up here at the Nether. Yes, the Nether, which we dug out the last time. Let's get back. There we go. These Nether tunnels. And we are not going to spend a lot of time up here. We need to pretty them up at some point, but at the first thing we need to do is... We can need to get working on the Iron Titan. That thing needs to get finished. And it needs to get... Oi! That's a lot of noises. That was friendly creature. There we go. Ah, much better. Yeah, we, we, we need to sort this mess out. It's... Uh, it's, it's, it's annoying. Annoying like hell. Where do we have anything to build? There we go. So, for today, guys, for today, guys, we will get this thing up and running, more, more or less, more or less. What I want to do for this day is quite simple. I want to ensure that we got everything we need in place to place the doors. And that requires us to get all of our villagers in place. It requires us to get the drop shaft area in place and the nether portal below. And that, uh, I think, should be a uh, quite nice thing. But the first thing we need to do, the first thing we need to do, the first thing we need to sort out, is these guys down here. We need to get them into this area which we're working on. And, and I think we should have plenty. <laughs> <coughs> oh, sorry about that. Oh my goodness. I've been sick in the past few days. That's annoying, but it should it should be more or less over at the time. So that's always a, a good thing. Oh yeah. Anyway, what we want to do is, of course, we want to get these guys up in the Iron Titan, and we want to do it quite fast. Actually, I don't want to spend too much time on this. However, there's a slight problem. It's they need to. Get all the way th out there first of all, and that could take some time in itself. And I don't see any simple way that this could be done. Except, you know, you know what? You know what? There actually is a way this could be done. Quite simple. If we take a rail and a cacti and make it so that the only place that these guys can jump out of the minecart is on top of uh what do you call them you call them a trap door at top of this area that should that should do it i think that should do it yeah let's let's try that out one out let's try that one out as i'm preparing this i have noticed a little problem as you can hear zombies are spawning in the area that is a ouch burning problem <laughs> That is uh, quite bad. We we <laughs> if something spawn when the villagers are exposed, or they can patch fine up to the area where the villagers is, we are having a bad time, and we don't want to have a bad time because those villagers, the time it takes for them to breed up to the right amount, it's yeah, we 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 don't want to spend that time again. That's that's annoying. However. As you can see, that is the idea. Then we just need a sand and a cacti. And of course, the whole transportation system from down there and up here. But one of the first thing we should do, and one of the more important thing actually, that is to ensure that these guys... No, nope, wrong. And that and that one should be good, like... Let's put that one as well. Yeah, there we go. I'm just putting in the powder rails down there and let's... Uh, project problem, problem. I want to grab them. Oh no, I also want to get done. Uh, we'll get this done. There we go. There we go. And pick up the rail. Come on, pick it up. Woohoo! Success. Great success. <laughs> oh, yeah. One of the most annoying thing about building this is you need to tear almost everything down again at some point when you are 
while they stun. And that is annoying. That is re really annoying. How we That wasn't main powered rail. That's a little bit annoying. We need to sort that out. And this is still making a heck of a noise. Wait, well, well, well. One of the first problems we need to solve is well, it just can move the minecart there in when you are transporting them. And that is to be found to be a pain in the bum. It's it's quite annoying and you basically can't do much about it. Just try and push them, but if they don't want to get pushed, then they don't want to get pushed. And let's see, can, can we be sneaky here? Can we be sneaky? Oh, we could be sneaky. See, what we want to do is we want to remove this, 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 and this. Because what this does... Is it? It's you could say cancel out the village. No, no, you no. Get in there. Get in there. You too as well. There we go. Ah, good, good, good. Now what this does is it's you can say it's canceling out the effect that the village has on the villager. So now you want path seek to the village instead of just passively sit in the minecart let's get transported around with no further problem from let's see this way from us so that's uh, that's a nice thing that is a little trick for you in case you should move some village. if there's a little village nearby except the, the village maybe the village you have built for them to breed that can give some problems when you try to move them just so you know well this is a problem. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bugger. Can we do it? Ouch. We could. Wonderful. Yeah, what I'm trying to do is basically to make these guys easier to collect. As the solution I got at the moment is... Uh, it doesn't seem like it's working very well. well. However, at the m it seems like, yeah, they are slowly but surely checking into the collection system. Let's try out this bad boy. There it goes. Let's see. Why didn't that work? And you, my friend, are in the way. I'm so close to put a pig in your face. Um... Why didn't that work? What am I doing wrong? And they are constantly flowing into that space. That's good, that's good. Where are you? There you are. Let's just grab a redstone block. The system I've built. I can't remember who invented this little solution. I believe it was... No, I can't, I can't remember. I won't say it if it's not right. But he is a genius, I must admit. There's a lot of problems picking up villagers in this expansion, you know. The 1.10 patch. Uh, yeah, why can't you just be thrown out as it usually would? Why? Oh! This is annoying. Like that then? Th will, will this will this work? Let's just remove you and put you the right spot. This is getting annoying. And you are s really, really noisy. Let's see. Mm, no. Do I really need to take an repeater input to that one? Eh, I probably should. So, yeah, the, the system here is quite simple, actually. It's just me being a spoon, which cannot get it to work. Which is nothing new, you know. <laughs> oh, but the, the idea is actually quite simple. All you have to do is you have to use this little setup up here. I can show you in a moment. Let's just... Like that. And... Come on. No, not in the water. Oh my goodness, this is not going as it should. This is bad, actually. Let's... Like that. Okay, good. And then we put... Ah, uh, let's just do it like that. There we go. Then we put dust in there. 
that's there. And that's there. That should do the trick. So if I now press this button, which I will put down now, we should see minecart rolling. Uh, and why don't we do that? Of course we, we can. Uh, of course we cannot use it. Where did you come from? Ah, no problem, no problem. Oh, of course we cannot power a repeater like that. That's basic redstone. Even though I'm not a redstoner, that's even... I should know that. I should know that. Let's see. Let's see. There we go. And the button in place. There we go. And this is still just... Is it the wrong kind of track I got in here? What's the wrong thing with this? What is wrong with this? It's cute, but it's wrong! No, it's just... Ah, oh, for, for God's sake! There, <laughs> I figured out this. Oh, we can't have it facing that way. We need to put the rubber at, let's see, this height. Like that. And then we can move you and put a normal rail in front of you. Yeah, there we go. Now, now it makes sense. Now it does actually make sense. Like that. And that should do the trick. Yeah, if, if of course there were some minecarts in this thing, otherwise it won't work. Oh, let's try it one more time. No, what the bat? The yeah. Why won't this work? God freaking! Th Ooh, that's a lot of villages. I have figured out my mistake. It turns out that it is just me who are a real, real, real big derp. Uh, I of course need a dispenser for this solution. I cannot use a rubber. Why didn't I think of that? Stupid me. Stupid, stupid me. You need a dispenser for the system in case you want to screw me. God freaking out. All my villagers that splattered out everywhere. Oh, I'm tired of this. Ah, the villagers. God damn it, you. The, ah. <sighs> this is quite annoying, to be fair honest with you. Quite annoying, so to say. The system actually works. I'm. <laughs> I didn't think it would. Oh, but it works. We got one guy. Now we just need four more. Is it five? I think it's four. It's four. But half of my villagers are down in the freaking water. The tap tap you bastards. You freaking bastards. I'm coming for you. Ouch. And now I'm drowning. And just like that, these guys should now be ready to go. But the problem with that is that uh, these guys were the, the simple ones, so to say. We we need the the bigger task are ahead of us, and we need approximately how much is it? Twenty two in each cage. So that's a bit of a bummer, I must admit. But uh, yeah, that's that's how it is. We just need to get it done. That uh, that is just as simple as that. Can't be said any simpler. So uh, yeah, let's get started on that one. <sighs> Grinding. Not the most interesting task. It though. seems like we got the perfect number. 24 villagers in a cage. Oh my goodness, this has been somewhat of a mission to get these guys up here. And I'm uh, having a little extra problem down there. There's a lot of villagers everywhere. I'm thinking just killing them off. I know that will be bad for my villager score. But instead of just 
crafting the whole thing here. I thought what I probably should do before I did all of the doors and such was to regain a little bit of my villager score. And that was quite bad. Where is it? Let's see. One, two, three, four. There we go. So basically just before I begin placing in all of the doors, I will trade just a little bit with the villagers to regain a little bit of my lost reputation, so to say. Because at the moment, I don't think they will have it with me. <laughs> I have uh, a little bit of them have been killed off. Not not by accident, I should say. Yeah, it was actually an accident. This solution wasn't the best, it seemed like. Sometimes they ended up inside the cacti and yeah, they died by that. And I'm not sure if that will affect my villager score or not, but yeah, it's it's. I don't want to try and take the chance, so to say. I really, really want this to work, and I want it to work the first time. So I think that should be the solution for that little problem. That won't die. Okay. So yeah, we are progress is coming along just nicely at the moment. Now we just need to get started on the next little part, which are the most annoying of them. And that is basically to get all of these things picked up, get all of that down there, demolished, and to create the jobs. Words, they are terribly difficult at the moment. Let's try again. <laughs> oh. We need to, of course, clear out all of this mess. <laughs> and then we need to get all of this area down there sorted out. And after that, we can start constructing the job. Drop shaft. That's the word I'm looking for. Drop shaft. My goodness. Why is that so difficult? Anyway. Let's get on with this task as it's a little bit repetitive, but you know, it's Minecraft for you. And I'm falling into the floor again. God freaking damn it! That was quite stupid. Oh, uh, let's see, can we be smart about it? Nope, we could not. And oh, I think it's not enough for today. I think I should go to sleep and we can. Nope! Yeah, definitely. I'm going to sleep. I will continue tomorrow. <laughs> oh. At the moment we got the trench done, which uh, small little light golems will fall down. That is this little beauty. Or oh, whatever you want to call it, because, yeah. You know, I, I got with the design with the iron bars at the top. I thought that was cool. And then we got glass down here. And I thought that could be really cool. Then I thought about, you know, wait a minute. It's underneath the iron titan itself, so there will be no sunshine or anything down here. So that's a bit of a bummer. <laughs> I didn't think that through very good. Anyway, what we need to do now is we need to put in our... Where do we have? We have something there. Good. We need to put in the hopper chain, which the golems will drop in all their iron on. And that should go there. That is nope. You got there. We go like that. Ah, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. No, nope, it ah, god damn it. <laughs> oh no, come come on. There we go. Much better. And we remove you and we remove you. The only question I got is, should I remove? Yeah, of course. God damn it. This new water thing isn't really good I think it's annoying annoying here like let's do it like this then if I need to go up and down we got a hole there should we pick uh, good. yeah let's just pick up there's no need to throw away glass it costs just a little bit to create anyway as you can see it's a it's a nice effect it got that it's all underwater however what I think could be even more nice is when we have put in all the chests, you know, we'll have chests coming out that, like that, like that, like that, like that, like that. 
all the way around and also over here that like that like that like that all the way up to how high can we reach is this the max yeah i think that's the max so we want them all the way up there and I'm run off the chest. Yeah, you can see I'm gotta get a little bit of resource management going on here. But that's the plan. And then we got the nether portal here, and then we got to figure out all of the redstone stuff out there somewhere in the water. Because then this portal and the portal which we will shoot down the puppies and such thing will be rather far away from each other. And I think that's a that's a nice little thing which is needed. I must say because yeah it's otherwise it, it, it basically won't work so how good is that that's that one that's that one we need one there is that it yeah I think that's it let's let's have a look let's have a look if I got lava in my face it's not right can we uh -huh. Yeah, sorry about that. I had to sneeze. Yeah, it seems correct. But, uh, except I need one over here. But uh, that that should be doable. That should be doable. And I think we should add in the stone slabs down here just to give it a little bit of touch, you know. Like, come on. That's not difficult to place those. We can do that. Like that. So in case No, god freaking damn it. There we go In case there should be any iron dropping down on the it one and down in the water That's a nice little feature and I actually think this Line here could be a nice little touch to the whole building So that's the that's the last thing I gotta work a little bit on for today and I'm actually, I think this could be quite nice when we got it done. So let me get on with that and we can meet up in just a little bit to see how this will look with all the chests and the portal being in place and such. Because after that we will put in a roof and then add some water once again. By the look of things we have now completed it. And there's <laughs> have happened a lot of things. Um, basically what happened was when I started to build this I screw up and had to rebuild a couple of times and when I finally got it right in the placement and such it interfered with this whole storage system so you know I'm pushing it that direction basically that's that's going to be the, the solution for that that's going to go in that direction instead but we are to light off this little bottle and I need to take notes of a few things for example, okay, this is more or less in spot zero point zero. That's is not good. Anyway, let's let's try and see if we do it like that. That's good. Where do we get through? I'll eat my hat that we get through here. Yeah, we do. We do. Okay, let's get back through and see where we end up. And we end up there. Oh. Okay, yeah, I need to sort that out. Maybe I move the portal just even further that way, so then nether, all the stuff that we pull through the nether will go in their own portal, because we don't want to when we're going to the iron farm, every time we pick up tons of puppies. You know, it's not what we want. So I will have to, uh, you know, tweak a little bit with this design down here and see what I can do but ladies and gentlemen thank you for watching that was all I had for you this time we have done a lot of uh, now we just need the a bit more boring task with all the wonderful doors up there but we'll take that on I think we should take a little break from this in the next episode so if you have liked this episode make sure to hit that like button and if you have any comment and suggestion as always the comment section is there for you to use Otherwise, ladies and gentlemen, may you have a very fine week ahead of you. See you. Bye-bye.